Hello, fine folks. I'm Lauren, welcome back to my channel. So, so much going on, including these bags under my eyes. Maybe it's just the shadows. Maybe I just adjusted, you know, I'm gonna blame it on the, I'm gonna blame it on the lighting. We're just gonna do that instead. Not my lack of sleep or anything like that. So, how y'all doing? Good, you having a good summer so far? I do have some exciting news to share, but not yet. Not quite yet. Today, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you because it can't stop, won't stop, right? Um, even though I had a garage sale last weekend and I got rid of some stuff, like some stuff. And it was good. And like, it was stuff that I was convinced we were never gonna get rid of, that we were gonna have to rent another dumpster to get rid of and like toss it. And people came and bought it. Like these like old ass patio furniture chairs that we've been trying to like put in a dumpster for two years somebody bought them for 25 bucks now granted like we are steel like 25 dollars for six chairs we're like just take it just take it and go and thank you and then like a bunch of other clothes i sold a bunch of stuff i was like here here's some clothes and like things that i had on my poshmark for years i just took it all down i put it out and i said fill bag for five bucks and people filled bags and what they didn't do i put on a free site and they came and took them somebody came and took my stuff it is a beautiful thing. Anywho, on to a Dollar Tree haul as I wave around these carafes. So I know that they had these at Dollar Tree a while ago, like before I started going to Dollar Tree. So this is not, this is by Christar, Christar, I guess. Um, distributed by Hemisphere Trading, only of New York, LLC, Windsor Place, Central Islip. Anyways, I bought three of these. These are fantastic for entertaining you're like laura anybody entertained yet we're going to entertain again it's happening so look first of all my husband is bougie and i was like look it's a water craft you put it on the table you put some water in it and that way you don't have to keep getting up and refilling your glass water craft you know what else mimosa bar look y'all you got your uh, i'm telling you I, and I do have three of these i just only have two hands you got your orange juice you got your grapefruit juice you got your cranberry juice You've got your other type of fruit juice, and then you put them in these individually, and then you have your champagne chilling on ice, and you put these like in an ice as well, and look, and you, look, look, this is all the entertaining, and then you can get those, um, those chalk sign things from Dollar Tree, hang them off of here so they know what kind of juice it is. Y'all, these are fantastic, and I bought three because I buy things in threes, right? But I, these are perfect because we're going to entertain again. It's coming back. We're coming back. Speaking of entertaining and things that I got rid of, I completely forgot my chiropractor appointment the other day. Um, so I need to set up a new one. Anywho, I did find some other books at Dollar Tree, even though I did donate a bunch of books that I had already read. Um, or there were some like these cookbooks. There was like diet cookbooks. I'm like, eh, F that. I don't care. So first one I did pick up, as I say, no diet cookbooks. This is Coconut and Kettlebells, Get Fit Eating 2000 Calories a Day. And at first I was like, is this one of those BS like diet books? But what I did like, it had a good selection of like main dishes in here. Um, oven roasted spare ribs, Moroccan meatballs, like classic meatballs. So I felt like it actually had like decent sounding food in here. And then it does have an exercise plan or whatnot, but I thought that was kind of cool. So this one here originally retailed for $29.99. $29.99, y'all. A dollar. One dollar. Crazy, right? Sorry, I just keep hitting my, my light all over the place. The other one that I picked up, this one here, cake. How cute is that? This originally retailed for $25. $25, you'd be tripping. Anyways, but I thought it had some like beautiful pictures in here. And I was like, oh, is this just pictures or do I get cake recipes? But you do get a cake recipe. You get cake recipes in here. So like carrot cake with cream cheese filling. Um, flourless chocolate cake. Anyways, I thought this was really cute. Pullover with fresh berries. I thought the graphics were adorable. Um... And I do like a little story. Like this is the broken heart cake. What? My heart was broken by Michael Goldenthal. He was leaving for college. I was left behind. He, he didn't love her. Okay. 
So did she make a cake? Philosophic cake? What is this? Where's my broken heart cake? Anyways, it's a cute little book. I think this is kind of like one of those books that you put in a gift basket, like for like your sister-in-law or somebody you don't know what to get for them. Pass this off to somebody else for a dollar. That way you didn't spend 25 bucks on it. Anywho. And then I got this one. This Teen Chef Cooks. And I thought this was cool. This is um, Food Network's Chopped Teen Grand Champion. And I thought this might be cool for just like things that a kid might eat. But then I look at skillet lasagna with arugula. My child would not eat that. Spinach and Asiago Strata. Oh, that looks lovely. How much was this thing originally? Stickers covering it up. This was originally $19.99 for this book. And you get it for a dollar. A dollar. Nectarine peach and spearmint salad. So what was that blue thing? Whoa, wait, hold up. What I'm getting at is these pictures are lovely. Mini blackberry cobbler. That's cute. I thought these were easy, like easy, like recipes, to like help teach a kid how to cook or something like that. So I thought that was nice. Also makes a great gift. Picked up this Friendsgiving book, right? Because we can have Thanksgiving again this year. We had Thanksgiving last year. Don't get me wrong, but like nobody was there. So $16.99 for this book. And I liked the theme and also like, so you're hosting things Friendsgiving. Now what? How to use this book? Ooh, it's got the whole thing. So it's got place settings. Look at that. Timeline to get it done. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Create your own Christini bar. Ooh, that sounds lovely. There's some great ideas in here. Leftover strategy. Buttermilk fried chicken with spicy honey. Damn. Okay. So great stuff in that book as well. Then I wasn't going to get this one, but I ended up getting it because I saw Tiffany on Thrifty Tiffany haul this. This um, geometry of pasta. This originally retailed for $24.99. And I'll be honest, I just liked it because it was all black and white. And I thought it was really pretty. And it had pasta pictures in it. And it had pasta and it looked delicious. How to make potato gnocchi. Penne, 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 blah, blah, blah. Looks great. So I grabbed that. Why? Because it was really pretty. And the last one, so I picked up this book. So I don't know if you've ever heard of The Oatmeal, but it's a, um, like a comic writer, comic writer. Anyways, Oatmeal is hip, freaking hysterical. So if you don't go to oatmeal.com, his stuff cracks me up. Anyways, so this is the fantastic reasons why I run. And I gotta tell you something, like I, I bought this book when it came out. Like I, I bought it, like I bought it full price. And this was probably about five years ago, six years ago. When did this come out? I don't remember. Anyways, this is, it's a great book. <laughs> um, it really is. It, it's, it's just a funny, I wanna call it a bathroom book, but it's like, the Terrible Wonderful Reasons I Run Long Distances. It's intro and then part one, the blurch. And so this, wait, where's the blurch? So this is the blurch here. It's so funny. Um. Anyways, if it's a fun read, I bought it because it's a dollar and I already own that. I know I already own this, but um, I think I might have to give this off to somebody. Maybe like a little runner thing. Um. But like this here, so it's like I grew up a fat kid and in a way the blurch is my former self. And I don't know, it's it's a good book. Like you should, if you see this for a dollar, like it's a really fun read for a dollar. Like hands down, you should pick it up. I already talked about books for a while now. So let's get into the actual haul, like the non-book portion of the haul. I did pick up Morgan some other puzzles. Girl loves her some puzzles and she's really good at them, like way better than, like she can do a 48 piece puzzle pretty easily for four, which I'm pretty impressed. So I did pick her up this PJ Masks puzzle, um, 24 pieces, and this Paw Patrol 48 piece puzzle. These ones are a little smaller, sometimes they're a little harder for her to do, but I like it because they come in a container and it's not something that she can break open. Instead, we can keep it all nice and contained in one place. So I picked up those for her. Then I also saw these, these were kind of new. Um, it's rainbow art, so this One Love rainbow art, and they had a unicorn and a mermaid and what you do is on the flat surface you lay your tray with a design on it and press the crystals into place fill it with water and then it like forms into a thing so i thought this would be cute 
want something fun to do. Let me see if I, I don't want to get these crystals like all over the place. Oh yeah. So you get like little pouches of crystals and then like, here's your mermaid thing. Oh, she'll like that. I'll take, it'll take like 10 minutes and we'll do it and she'll, she'll be thrilled with that. Perfect. Um, I went to Dollar Tree when I was hungry, which was a bad idea because I ended up with a bunch of snacks, which I don't need, but I did get some. So I got some of the sugar-free Chico sticks, which I love so much. And then I also got some of these Atkinson's peanut butter bars. I love these too. You know, I love me some granny candy. And then I also got some cinnamon discs because I also love cinnamon discs. I don't need any of these because yes, I am on Jenny Craig. And it's been so weird because like I said, this is the third time I've done Jenny Craig. I know I've definitely lost weight, but I haven't really been weighing myself very much. But we are going, my next meeting is in, is in the, um, in the center. And I haven't had a meeting in center yet. So that was always like the impetus. Cause like, you'd be like, oh fuck, I have to weigh in. So I need to like get my stuff together. So yeah, yeah. Back in off, back in center weigh ins, which is crazy. So got to do that. I'm sorry. My phone's like blowing up over here too. Oh, and I got some Tic Tacs. So the Icy's are back. So these Weiler's Italian Ice. Morgan really likes these. And these are a decent size. Um, you get, what, six? You only get six in here, but they're a good thick size popsicle, which she is a big fan of every night like the kid loves her treats but she always wants like a popsicle we got bomb pops the other day at Wegmans and she's like obsessed with them then I also picked up some of the seaweed packs I got two of these let me tell you something I also bought some seaweed packets at Wegmans and they were expensive it was like eight bucks for 12 of them and at the Dollar Tree you get three for a dollar it's all seaweed. Kevin says it tastes like the ocean. Like it all tastes the same, but still like if you can get it cheaper, get it cheaper. If dollar free, they're just as good. Socks. Do I need more socks? No, but let me tell you, I wear socks all day, every day. Cause my feet get cold. As a matter of fact, I have on socks and slippers right now, but I picked up two more packs of socks from Morgan. So we've got just some plain white socks. And uh, for those of you who have kids, you know that these socks will stay white for one wearing, and that is it. And then they might be so disgusting, you have to throw them away. And I also picked up another pack of these. I really like these, these, um, these value pack fold down socks. I also like that they're a solid color, because especially now that it's like summertime, it's not like you have pants to cover them up. So it's like you need a solid color sock to wear. She wears like socks and Crocs. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then I picked up these ones for me. Do I need more socks? No, but I can't get enough. So these ones here are the little coffees. So we got a little tea, little latte coffee, and then um, pink and gray striped. And these ones here, I couldn't stop myself. They're baby sharks. Real sharks. Look, they have a happy shark face and stripey socks. So I grabbed those for me. I also picked up two more packs of head hairbands. Um, I put my hair up in one of these every day when I, well, not every day, but when I go ride my bike, uh, they disappear. They disappear. I don't know where they go. They disappear into the ether. I don't know. I buy uh, hundreds of hairbands from Morgan. I don't know where they go. Nobody knows where hairbands go. I don't, I don't know. So picked up some more. More cotton rounds as well. <clears throat> I picked up two more of these towels these little um bath towels morgan loves them she likes opening them up are they soft no are they exfoliating yes should you use them a couple of times and get rid of them also yes do we have what feels like hundreds of these in the house also yes i had to get her this aerial one because she had an aerial one that it got all balled up and it's i i thought it got moldy and she's like why did you go my aerial away i'm like it was moldy she's like why anyways so i got another one i threw away her aerial Ooh. i also picked her up a 
just a plain pink toddler tee shirt. I think this is a 5X. I got a new um, SVG of like Dolly Part, and I'm gonna put this on her, make a make shirt for her. A couple of other things. This is for my husband for Father's Day. I do have his Father's Day present on its way, which he doesn't know about. He doesn't watch his channel anyways, but um, I got him that. And then I also got this beard trimming cape, which I know he's not going to use, but God dang, I wish he would. I wish he would use it. So maybe he will, maybe he won't. And then I also got this thing of like Lever 2000 body wash because it's a brand name and it's a Dollar Tree. And is this thing like half used? I don't fill that up very far. Anyways, so this is original body gel scent. It smells pretty decent, so. It definitely feels like it's been used. Ew. Anywho. And last but not least, I did find this um, Wet n Wild. Is this a highlighter? Yeah, it's a highlighter bar. But look at those blues. Isn't that fun? I thought I would give this some Morgan to play with. She's always like, mommy, can you put some makeup on me? I'm like, sure, what do you want? She's like, I want red. I want red eyeshadow. I'm like, or all, mommy ain't that kind of woman. So we don't really have red eyeshadow. But I figured maybe some blue highlighter would really um, amuse her. So I picked her up that. I'm trying to open it. And it's not opening. Anyways. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got for y'all today. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a fantastic summer. Hope you're staying healthy and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.